so guys welcome back to the channel testing one two hey guys now in this short tutorial i'm just going to be showing you the very important meta tags we had forgotten to put in the head section now these meta tags they are very very many meta tags you can use on the website first of all is this one i guess every text editor has it so the cassette equals utf minus eight so but the important one is this right meta and you give it a name meta name equals viewport so where it will be viewed on either a desktop or mobile device and put the content its content we shall show with this width equals device dash width or minus width device minus width comma let's say initial initial scale equals one so what this is telling the brother please when this website is viewed on any device with different width it has to scale to that width with a zoom level of one so the initial scale will always be one on every any device di any device with a different width the website will automatically scale to that device's width I guess you're getting what i'm trying to mean here so the person will not be having difficulty to navigate to different items or sectors on your web page like zooming in pitching and zooming in so that won't be available on your website if you place this meta tag on your website or web app so this will not allow users to pinch and zoom in so it will automatically scale to the devices with it there are very very many meta tags you can use now for example you can set a description for your website by just saying meta name so the name will be description so you are you are providing the description of your website and the content will be you can write anything this website is about jQuery mobile and mainly these meta tags help the search engine to fetch up your website in case somebody types in some keywords in, like talking about your website and there are very very many meta tags let's say we want to create another meta tag for this one and we say name equals keywords and if you are to get the content area to be like jquery mobile so the same applies like to youtube that area when you're uploading a video and they say put the keywords so mainly this is how you can include keywords on your website you say jquery html comma you have to space them with the commas css let's say jquery mobile so these are the different keywords you want to put on our website so in case somebody goes in a search engine and types html by luck and her website not by luck by <laughs> even your abilities the programmer so your website will be fetched up and displayed to the user so mainly that's the use of keywords you just put very very many keywords to your website and the search engine will be able to yeah display the information in case your content has some of the keywords mentioned in the search query so guys that's it for this tutorial i hope it was useful to you if it was please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so let's first preview this in the browser and you see the live example what i'm talking about so on your keyboard press ctrl u ctrl u and you see the source code of your website so mainly this is what you see on diff on several websites if you are to see their source code you already see this meta tags meta name description and you see a long statement this website is about this it's a meta name keywords content and they display the different content keywords so guys that's it for this tutorial if it was useful once again subscribe